Jose Mujica is a real handyman about the house. Una buena precaución. He's not a man that enjoys a life of luxury, and most of the time is accompanied by his loyalist friend, Manuela, a three-legged dog. But Jose Mujica is also the president of Uruguay and has been dubbed by the international media as the poorest president in the world. This is the house of the president of Uruguay. It is located just outside the capital of the country, Montevideo, in this rural area, just next to small farmers. This is a place that contrasts so much that it is only guarded by these two police officers who are just outside the house. This is quite a contrast from the lifestyle of many world leaders. The BBC was granted rare access to the president's residence. They say I am the poor president. No, I am not a poor president. Poor people are those who always want more and more. Those who never have enough of anything. Those are the poor because they are in a never-ending cycle and they won't ever have enough time in their lives. I choose this austere lifestyle. I choose not to have too many belongings, so I have time to live how I want to live. In President Mujica's latest official declaration of wealth, he says he owns just two vehicles, a small amount of property and his farmhouse. He also donates 90% of the salary, $12,000 a month, to charity. His car is one of his most valued possessions. I may appear to be an eccentric old man, but do allow me to express myself. When world leaders talk about sustainable development, what is that growth based on? It's based on pushing people into mass consumption, but then you face an economic crisis like the one we see today. Mr. Mujica was a member of a leftist Uruguayan guerrilla group in the 60s and 70s. The legacy remains with him, six bullet wounds in his body. He also spent 14 years in prison, mostly in isolation. He had a landslide victory for the presidency more than two years ago. After half a term in power, he is now back in a bill to legalize the use of cannabis. So what do Uruguayans make of his lifestyle and government record? I don't like the way he expresses himself in public sometimes. There are certain rules that you have to follow to be president. For people like me, from the lower middle class, he is at least somebody we can identify with. Whether he's a good leader or not depends on what he does as a president, not on his austere lifestyle. Latest opinion polls show that his approval rating has fallen below 50% for the first time since he took power. The man he defeated in the 2010 election Former President Luis Lacalle accuses him of wasting a favorable economic climate. If you look at the power he had and the potential he had today, halfway through Mujica's term in office, we can say that his administration has not been as good as it should have been. But back at his farm, the president is happy to just tend to his garden and his crops. And despite his fall in popularity, he says he remains true to what he believes and hopes that perhaps one day other world leaders might follow his example. Vladimir Hernandez, BBC News, Montevideo.